So Katarina plus replay Katarina is 7 mana. I have 11, and then I can also have Deny. Perfect. So perfect amount of mana for Katarina plus replay Katarina plus Deny. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Marauders, our other viewer-submitted donation deck today that we're going to be playing on over in Ranked. Mostly all Noxus, just a little bit of Ionia in this list. Uh, I'm surprised we're not playing Twin Disciplines, since we're playing Ionia, the best spell in the game. But, you know, it's, I want to keep it the same of, you know, just like the deck that was uh, sent to me. Um, but it's going to be LeBlanc, Swain, Katarina, of course, LeBlanc kind of just always goes with the Marauders, right? And so, like, when I was naming the deck, I decided to call it just Swain Marauders, uh, to, you know, because LeBlanc kind of is what Legion Marauders are all about. And we'll have those Legion Marauders. We'll have Strength in Numbers to get more Legion Marauders. Um, but, yeah, I could definitely see, because, you know, LeBlanc and Legion Marauder are cards you kind of need to protect. So I could definitely see playing, like, Twin Disciplines in here. Also with Ionia... Um, maybe even a card like Rush could be kind of cool with a Legion Marauder, give it that quick attack. Or even like some Ghosts, give give Legion Marauder or give Swain Elusive. You know, so those are some, some options that, that could be kind of cool in this kind of deck. But well, like I said, want to keep it, keep the list the same. So let's uh, try it out just like this. Some things I'm excited about. I'm, I'm excited about three Spirits Refuge. I think that this should be pretty awesome. There are three Leviathans in this deck to go along with two Swains. Um, so, you know, like, hopefully you don't, like, draw both your Swains first. You may run out of Swains. But, all right, that's, you know, that's... We'll, we'll kind of see how it goes, you know? Uh, let's just see what this list is all about. We'll kind of make some conclusions at the end. But let's go and play these games over in ranked. We got Swain Maradas. Here we go. Oh, I need to put these ducks on Mobilitic still. I haven't put the list up there. All right, what would we cut for twin? Um, probably want, you know, like less Leviathan, maybe less like deny. Kind of use like twin for protection instead of deny. Twisted Face Swain. I think I kind of like this whole hand. I mean, the thing is, is like LeBlanc gets killed super easily by Twisted Fate Swain. But that's just kind of how it is, right? Like, we're going to have to take the removal from their hand anyway, right? So if it dies, it dies kind of thing. And now I guess I play Marauder over LeBlanc. Because if I play LeBlanc attack... The following round, they can go Twisted Fate Gold card. Hmm. Then there's also Death's Hand. Alright, so I'm going to lead with LeBlanc. Because I think the Legion Marauders may be a little bit more important to go along with the Strength and Numbers. I think these are going to be pretty important for us. So we'll lead with the LeBlanc. Um, I could pass here, you know, keep Deny available. And they do have the Death's Hand. Probably make it rain. Where are you, spirit? Send moth. It's found me. We actually have an additional card in hand than, than what they do. If I play Strength in Numbers, I can't protect with Deny. I kind of want to just play this Legion Marauder so I can protect with Deny. Worst case scenario is like Twisted Fate Gold card. I guess them just simply playing a Swain is a bad scenario also. Oh, that's a bad scenario also. Yeah, there's a lot of bad scenarios, isn't there?
Okay, don't love our chances still, but I don't know. Our Legion Marauder's not dead yet. That's the good news. I feel like it could die at any point. Hey, Leandro. Yeah, you, <laughs> we just played against you where you had all the champions. Yeah. Did not go well for me at all. But that's all right. That's how it goes. The, you, had, you had all the nab cards. The nab cards are just absolutely fantastic. And so it's going to be... It was going to be... I was going to have to get lucky to win to win against a version with a lot of nab cards. Well, I guess here we go. Not dead. They're not dead. We get to attack. Those plus two plus twos are critical. Not bad. Yeah, we're actually not doing too bad. Now, what happens if they play a boat? I don't know. Oh, I got a boat. Okay. Boats v. Boats. I don't know how this happened. How do they, like, not have very many cards and we have a lot of cards? Fear the power you do not see. If I... Play Leviathan. I don't know how how scared I need to be of them stunning stuff. Yes, yeah, so the strength of numbers just gives me extra blocker. Pass. No attacks. Wow. Okay. Not attacking with Swain. That's good. That's definitely good. No. No swing attack. So, Katarina plus replay Katarina is 7 mana. I have 11, and then I can also have deny. Perfect. So, perfect amount of mana for Katarina plus replay Katarina plus deny. Are we going to do it? Are we doing the thing with the stuff? It's not at all what I'd want to deny. That's not at all what I want to deny. Great card for them. But it's worth it. Forces them to have just another card, you know, force them to have a Death's Hand. Or something like that. Because you never know, maybe they don't. So these are just like two units over here. We're in a wonderful spot if those are just like two units. Well, it's looking like we're in a wonderful spot. Strength in numbers. Deal me in. Okay. Who says I don't share? Such little lives. That, of course, stuns. Because <clears throat> the next is strike. You can't do this. They refuse to block with Swain. Because you know, they could trade Swain for a Legion Marauder, but they refused to do it. Yeah, Katarina actually lived. I think we're going to win this. I think we got this. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. No going back. Unless we don't. What would I found? Yeah, why didn't they like ravenous flock first? I guess they get these blockers out here first. Yeah, this is it. This is game. Because they can't really attack, and then yeah, this is like, we got it. Katarina Legion Marauder. 
Coming through. Both these are lethal attackers. Boom. For the longest time, I did not expect to win that game until that Katarina came back to our hand and survived. Alright, now we got Gohard. So we've played seven games today. All seven have been control decks that we have faced. We definitely do not want to keep one health units against Gohard. House Spider makes a one health unit, but it leaves behind a 2 2 body as well. But I do not want to keep those five ones. Let's go, get, go little house spider. It's not the best hand. Don't have a lot to do right now. Don't have a lot to do right now. So kind of had to take a turn off, but we can go swain this round. Right now they don't have the ability to block Swain. And I'll trade House Spider away because of, you know, make it rain, go hard, all sorts of stuff. Like, just want to trade that away. Okay, that's not a bad trade. The problem is... Oh, I guess I needed to play this. Yeah, we only have two Swains in our deck. Oh, I needed to play this as Swain's Ravenous Flock on the Croaker. Yeah, I really needed to. I, di I didn't think about that. I really should have done that. And then put it in back into the deck so we actually draw it. Because right now, like, these Leviathans aren't... Yeah, like, they're just not going to draw a Swain anymore. Yeah, I didn't think about that until it was just too late. Hmm. Nothing like the stake of glory and sweat. Don't know much, do ya? Keep up, keep up. I wonder if they're going to have another vengeance or not. So if that answer is not. We're gonna have leveled up. I'm doing this to level up Levi or level up Swain, so we're gonna have level up Swain attack. While I would like to have the third Swain in here for these Leviathans, that Katarina did win that game for us last game, so I can't you know, complain about the Katarina. Maybe there should be two LeBlancs, three Swains. That's a pack your bags. I still play this thing. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to the yeah, I kind of think there should be two, because we have all the other three mana things. I think there should probably be two LeBlancs, three Swains in the stack. Keep the Katarina. But we are now out of Swain. That's 
exactly what they needed. Ooh, okay, I like Spear's Refuge. Spear's Refuge is a good draw. We have the ability to unload our hand completely. I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. Artillery barrage! Victory requires a sharp blade. Now, t knows me nice. That's good. Because they missed they missed the Leviathan, the card that matters. Because those those five ones don't matter, because like challenging those things didn't matter. This this thing matters. I need to keep my spirits refuge to protect Leviathan from go hard. Alright, 2-0. Oh. Katarina doesn't have a good champion spell. And is not a good draw early. You want you want to be playing at like round eight or so. And it doesn't have a good champion spell. So like Katarina's not really a champion you want three of. Civerection. Wait, this is an aggro deck? I didn't think these exist existed anymore. Yeah, I didn't think I can talk either. Well, I'm looking kind of silly for getting rid of that Death of Lotus right about now. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Yeah, looking a little si silly for that. All right, I guess I'm just trading. Okay, they don't want to trade because you know they can give this barrier and the, all sorts of other stuff. So I'm just gonna try the trade. Yep, Mulligan, that Death Lotus looks pretty silly right now. Playing the House Spider allows me to have three spell mana for next round. We'll be able to have eight total mana, so I can actually cast the Strength in Numbers next you round. Love it when they run. I will want to do that after attackers, of course. I don't want them to be able to do all their vulnerable challenger stuff. They have rally. They can kill one marauder. Hope not. Guess so. Wonder why they didn't give. Wonder why they didn't give the tracker the barrier. I was planning on playing LeBlanc. Whoa. I was planning on playing LeBlanc. Look what I found. Shield up. Okay, well, good news is they're almost out of cards, I guess, but they get to predict and draw. If 
I think we see like just this kind of matchup and everything. Well, one, you know, like, I got punished for not keeping the death sand, but two, Shake what you want. we just noticed that just ha having cheap, cheap combat tricks is just king, right? Like we don't have any twin disciplines and all that kind of stuff like I was talking about. Those would help out very, very much. Uh, but I need to keep, I should have kept the death lotus. I think that was, that was a big mistake by me. Is a Diana Nocturne. Get a Nightfall deck. Nightfall's pretty cool. Nightfall's pretty cool. Let's keep this hand. This hand looks pretty good. I like having this Spirit's Refuge against Diana and the Quick Attack Challenger part of Diana. We want to have the Marauders together. I'm actually kind of thinking I don't play House Spider. Because if I don't play House Spider, then I can have Marauder on three, Spirit's Refuge on four, Strength in Numbers five. But I need that three spell mana, so I can't play House Spider. I think that's what I'm going to do. We can take a little bit of damage because we're going to heal our Nexus with Spirit's Refuge. Yeah, Gamma says, I don't understand how they thought Shapestone would help landmark decks. Maybe Shapestone is just specifically for action, right? Like, maybe, you know, like, they they knew that ac they were printing action, and, like, they kind of made that card for action. That's a possibility. Okay, not attacking with it yet, because it's going to be a lot bigger next round. We'll have Spirit's Refuge protect it right here. Did they forget to do Nightfall, or what? I do have another Legion Marauder, though, now. Okay, exactly what I was predicting we need to do. Now save this three mana. Go strength in numbers. So, so far this has played out basically exactly as I saw it playing out. Let's see if we're rewarded for good sequencing and everything and see if we can pull out a win. We just got three free kills there, so that's not bad. Nightfall can kill you pretty quickly. We do have another Spirit's Refuge. You tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Find <clears throat> your own light. All right, so we can go House Spider plus Spirit's Refuge. Arise in our time of need. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. It's unlikely that they kill us. Do five damage, five more extra overwhelm damage. It's unlikely. Yeah, that is kind of weird. The prismatic and the non-prismatic of the same card. Because so I guess I have I have prismatic legion marauders, but I don't have prismatic strength and numbers. But it, yeah, that is that does look weird, doesn't it? I did like the spirits refuge in the stack. I talked about that at the beginning. That I thought that that's. A real good addition. Anyone hurt? <laughs> yeah. 
Just two cards in hand. I'm not too worried about dying. I think I get to do that and sentry. I want to kill the five ones. game. There we go, GG's. Legion Marauders. Dude, Legion Marauder is sweet. Especially with that, that those Spirits Refuge. Played out perfectly. Question was, should Ash Marauder still work? It's these kind of matchups. These Marauders are just slower than the Sivir Action decks and stuff. Like that's These are the matchups that are really rough for the Marauders. Um, and kind of the same thing with the Ash deck, so you're going to need like your Brittle Steels and things like that. These are not good matchups. Okay, Nenuel says, early in Expedition I drafted a deck with seven Legion Marauders in it. Easiest 7-0 ever. Nice. The Marauder Expeditions. No action. No action. No. I said no action. What if you ever listen? Okay, that's a good card. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Card looks pretty fair. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Beware. So I don't get to play Death's Hand this round, because if I play Death's Hand this round, then I cannot play Glory Seeker and Marauder next round. So in order to get these two plus Death's Hand all available, I have to do it this order. Because now I'm, I don't really want to play the Death's Hand. Because I'd like, now that we drew the strength in numbers, I'd like to be able to do that, but hopefully no more Merciless Hunters. No, of course, they just have infinite Merciless Hunters. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. The few for the many. Man, this is just so fair. <laughs> Merciless Hunter Sivir. It's just ridiculous. Business as usual. But it's alright. 3 2, not a bad record. Um, you know, good news is we are buffing up. Um, you know, buffing up these win rates for Sivir action, so hopefully something gets nerfed, right? Like that's what we're doing. Gotta buff up those win rates. That's perfectly fine. So we traded Swain for Merciless Hunter and a three mana spell. It's fine. No, I mean, Targon can't really keep this stuff at bay, I don't think. I mean, it's... this... the spell shield is just so brutal. Especially for, for Targon, too. The combat tricks are too cheap and, and efficient. Like, if Merciless Hunter was like a 3-3 that didn't have Fearsome, that would be a reasonable card. If this was like a 5-4... That'd be a reasonable card. They're just a little overtuned. It's not too far, right? Like it's it's not too far. The shape stone should just be doing, you know, plus two plus one for one mana. This should be a five four. Like just changing like a little like those little numbers make a big difference. 
work is worthless. We are what we do. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Places to go, people to be. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. How do you have every one of those? Business as usual. I have every one of those. So this levels up the sever, so these will have the quick attack. Oh, that thing's fearsome. Can't even block. I'm a woman of principle. Right. It's the biggest three drop in the game, but instead of just being a vanilla unit. Usually usually your biggest unit at each spot is like a vanilla unit. But this also has Fearsome and just this completely devastating playability. Never have understood why that card was printed in the first place and how it's been like, I don't know, what's it been, two, three months that it's been out and it's just never been changed? Run. If they take one of these and go down to six, we'd have like Leviathan do three, Death Sands each do one. Nothing personal. You're dead meat. Okay, getting Ru ruin runner is really important. He lost to a Sun Disc deck for the first time this weekend. Dark in the skies. Danger pays. Well, that's a win. That's the only attack. That's got to be a win. Okay, we're not very close to a leveled up Swain. I need just a moment. I'm kind of keeping Deny available for Rally. Oh, they're gonna go that and fight. Guess do I deny the fight? Yeah. Hope they don't have another one. I'll pass here. I won't. I don't want to play the other Glory Seeker, and then I need to get more blockers. Oh, another action. We're going under. Sharpen the blades. Secure the kill. Why didn't I play around that? I don't know. He said... <laughs> begrudgingly. Not seriously. Could have saved Deny for that, I guess. All right, but that's gonna be it for Swain Marauders. Besides Sivir Action, which is, as we've determined, unbeatable, we have... Uh, a 3-0 record for, for the deck. So, you know, can't complain about that. Uh, it did look really powerful. I liked the Swain in here. Maybe more so than the LeBlanc. LeBlanc didn't look so good. It just very easily dies to lots and lots of removal spells with only the two health. And you kind of have to protect the Marauder. So the LeBlanc didn't play too well. We got that game from, with the Katarina, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want with your Katarina. It's the kind of card that's a perfect one of um, because it... It's something you don't really want to play early at all. It's it's very vulnerable, but it's a perfect late game card to play. So it's a great one of, especially with these Marauders. Spirit's Refuge really performed well, overperformed for sure. 
could have could have used the spirits refuge against all those sivers um you know never had it against sivir but we had it against diana a couple of times that uh did a lot of work glory seeker didn't look very good i know this like can theoretically kill sivir and rune runner i guess that's what's in here for but it didn't look very good because there's just lots of one damage removal around these days um but yeah i think i would like some more uh just with the, this kind of deck maybe some more like twin discipline seek a patient you know just like more of the the ionia cards um that uh are kind of messed up all right but that's gonna be it here though for swain marauders so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button leave those comments i really appreciate that as always though thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video